Hey y'all, it's Melissa with Let's Find Joy Photography, letsfindjoy.com, and um, I know it's been a little bit since I have uploaded a, a video, and I've gotten quite a few people who've been interested in wanting more videos, and so I'm super glad that you um, have found them helpful, and that y'all want more, so here we go. This video is going to be focusing on liquify and how um, I get the little bean image you know how this is more curved than the original so after before after I know some even go even more bean like and smaller but I still like to keep mine more natural so um, that's what my finished product look like looks like this is another one. This is the original. I also um, uh, composited, um, not composited, what is, what am I looking for? Composition. Fix the composition on this image as well. Um, and this was the final product of it. This is my darling puff, um, <laughs> baby Warren. Um, that's why I've been away for a while. I was on bed rest like the whole pregnancy really really sick in and out of the hospital and um, he'll be he's three months almost four months next week so I've been a little preoccupied so this um, is my little chunkers newborn photos that I did so I had a c-section with him um, so I wasn't I definitely wasn't on top of my game with composition being you know with everything being right in camera which I I try to strive for. Um, so this is how I did that. Um, as you can tell, I don't keep the beans super small. I like to keep it more natural. Um, so I figured we would do just the liquefying portion, not editing skin or anything on two different type poses. Um, this one and the other one I showed. So we'll start with this one. We're going to hit Command E on our keyboard to bring up the image in Photoshop. That's the raw image, no edits. Normally I would do the um, liquify after I've completely like edit the entire image and I'm ready to pull it back into Lightroom then it's that's when I'll liquefy but we're just gonna liquefy right now so it'll be the first thing we do and liquefy can like, it usually takes the longest on computers to load and, like, do things, so hopefully it'll cooperate with us. So, you'll come up here to Filter, and you'll hit Liquify. It's going to pull up the image into the little Liquify area. So, this thing that's called the forward warp tool. I had to hover to figure out what it was officially called because I just call it the little poker pusher finger majigger. Um, you can make it bigger or smaller by using the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard or sliding the slider. Pressure, I have it 100, density 50. Rarely ever, I don't know if I have ever changed those. So, I keep my brush fairly wide open at the beginning, um, just because I like it to be more natural, so I find that it takes m up more of the space that we're, Command Z, um, Command Option Z to undo, because I don't like what I just did. Um, it takes more section an area of section and so 
a section of area. I don't know which which way is the right way to say that. I have a concussion. I fell yesterday. So I may use words that... Anyway, I'm not using words in the right way sometimes. But I'm okay. I'm healing. But still a little confused and like jumbled words at times. Okay. So I'm just going to... I want to keep it curved there. So that's why I undid that. But here I'm going to bring this like way up. And here, I'm going to curve this in a bit more. I still want to keep kind of the natural shape a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm not going to do a drastic change. When you're on the shadow side, you really want to be careful. You don't want to, you know, come in from like here and really... Um, change the shadow or pull like a super lot and change the shadow or you notice when you pull let me zoom in more so you can see when you push I guess not pull when you push a lot it really starts to distort things so when I'm doing it I'm doing just the slightest I'm pushing down with my um, mouse right here and pushing in and letting go pushing in and letting go so you see I do a little tiny bit at a time even though it takes a huge area I'm just taking a little tiny bit at a time so see how that did it a lot better than I'm going to hit undo a couple of times so you can see if I were to do it small Oops, see, it's a lot harder to control when it's small. Smaller. It's just a lot harder to control, and it doesn't look as natural there on the edge. I don't know, I just don't like that. Okay. Ah! See how it takes like more of an area? So it's not just the edge. I just, I feel like that looks better. When I am refining an edge though, I do go down a little bit more. So see here, I wanna fix this curve just a little. So I'm actually gonna go up onto the swaddle. And then I'm too close now, I think. I'm going to pull it back out just a little. Okay, so see now I'm going to zoom in and come down here. And I am really going to um, push this area in. Because I want it curved a lot, so it's lots of pushing in right now and right here I um, tried to tuck some of the swaddle in but didn't get it all the way in so I'm gonna bring down some of oops, some of the swaddle to cover it and then I'll push some of it up so see what I'm talking about here Not too much where it looks super fake. And then gonna make it even smaller so I can really push this part up so it just looks more like kind of a wrinkle. And then now I need to be careful I'm moving this because I kind of like curved curve that. Okay, I'm going to zoom out and see how that looks. Let me 
Make it bigger. I don't like how I messed up right here on the white, but I'll just use spot healer to fix that. Okay, now we're gonna zoom back out. Zoom in, fix these little nubs. Ah, don't like that one. Control, control Z to undo. And then sometimes you'll want to pull it out too to even some parts. I'm going to zoom out. Okay, and then I'm going to fix his little knee here. And then I'm going to fix this little curve here. So it doesn't look like there's like but there, if it makes sense. Let me see. So here's before. I'm pressing preview down here so you can see the original and then the edited. You know, I want to see if I can even edit this. I don't know if I did that when I first edited the image. No, that looks weird. So we're going to leave it. Did I edit that when I, let's see. Nope, I didn't, okay. I was going to say, because it's not working out for me. Okay. So, yeah. That looks fairly good to me. Press OK. Alright. Let's double check. Yeah, it looks like I made it even smaller here. I did. So I would just go back in to liquefy. And pull my little munch can up more. Because he is super long looking here. So just little by little. close attention <clears throat> to the shadows.
That's why I'm pushing it back out so I don't mess up that shadow too much. Okay, before or after, I made it a lot shorter. Okay, I think that'll be pretty good. So let's look at, yep, that's pretty close. So this was the finished image when I first edited it. Edited it. <laughs> And then here's what I just did now. Okay, perfect. Then really quick, we'll do the other <clears throat> the other image that I wanted to edit for you. So I'm not going to. I know we talked about how I fix the composition on here. Um, but for this, I'm not going to. I'm just going to um. Command E, open a Photoshop. I'm just going to use Liquify really quickly to show you how to do that. For me, I have found that the key is really slow and steady and wider um, brushes for the poker pusher finger tool. And um, then zooming in and really getting precise when you need to with the smaller brush and really paying attention to the shadows. So I um, filter liquify. So I like it more natural and I don't want to, you know, cut the baby in half right here. If you like that look that some do, like where all this part would be gone and it would just be, you know, this part, that's totally fine. You can totally do that and use, like, cut this away and and whatever. But if you want to keep it more natural, I've really found that this works really, really well. Okay, so same thing. We have a big brush. We're going to push in. Super slow. Right here, I'm going to come and I'm going to push it out because I don't like that dent. <clears throat> right here, I'm going to push in a lot. And I can be a little bit more careless, I guess, is, is a word I could say, with this area because it's a, a lot more blurred because, you know, the baby was at an angle, so the depth of the field blurred that for me and the focus is on the face. So, you, so with this one, if I mess up or if I go in a lot where it... Um, it doesn't really make a difference with as it did with the other image because with the other image you could see the threads really well but this one you can't so I don't have to worry about that too much I can be more I, I have a little more grace in that area which definitely can be nice sometimes Definitely want to still pay attention to the pay attention to the shadows when you come over here. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit, and sometimes you'll have trouble with a certain hump and dent area. So you just want to fix the little area because for some reason the big brush just moves it cutting it right. Alright. Curve that a little more. Okay. Be sure here to especially pay attention to the shadows. Then when you come into the blanket, make sure all these little lines of the blanket, especially right here, stay straight. So see right here how I messed that curve up. I'm just going to fix it a little. There we go. And then I actually feel like that's too curved. So I'm going to bring it down. I don't like that hump as much. Oops. I am going to zoom or Make the brush a bit smaller and pull this down. Uh, 
let's see. I want to try to hide this little hump too. See how that looks. The good thing is, is that when I first edited these, edited these images, it was almost four months ago, so I can't remember exactly what I did. Um, so this is like re-editing it completely again, so I'm kind of figuring out right now as I go. So, also, I want to make this come down. I don't know why that's bugging me. And you'll find like what you like and what you don't like, what your style is. Everyone is completely different, so every single thing that I would do, do not feel like you have to do it. These are just tips to help get you started and help get you in the right direction and find your own way. You can use, you know, these things that I've shown you to make it even more drastic if you like the more drastic look. Um, so it's definitely before, after. It's definitely not um, meant to show you you have to do it this way and this is the only way. This is just the steps and the tools that I use and you can use them to achieve your own and find your own way that you like to do it. So here's before and after. Okay, and then we're gonna look at the after one on in Lightroom. So there's the after one in Lightroom. It's gonna look a little different just because we have it so far zoomed in, but I think it looks pretty comparable. Awesome. So this video has been on liquefying um, our little beans, our little baby beans. Um, if you have any questions, just write them down below. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll be adding more to come. Just be patient with me. And if you have any ideas on videos that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to get to them. Um, and see what I can come up with to help you. And um, thank you.